Dr. Pandit. So today also we are going to talk about uh, one more important ab initio scenario based question and we will try to implement it okay so let's say we have a so these are you know they are related basically it could be a question of sql operation or it could be a question of ab initio both way we can implement this okay so let's say we have a department uh, i mean the employee uh, data set wherein we have a same like import department uh, employee and salary that kind of data set we have so what the output should be looking like it like i have a department i have an employee name i have a salary the lowest and the highest there will be there will be two more columns lowest and highest so for for a particular department if i look at one of the record right so i would be knowing that by looking at this record what is the lowest salary for a particular within this department where this miller is belonging to so i would be knowing that 1300 is the lowest amount lowest salary got by any person within the department number 10 if i look at this record so 3000 is the maximum salary achieved by any person within a department number 20 similarly here right if i look at this one so i would be knowing that lowest salary achieved within department number 30 right is 950 right so this is you know we have to achieve basically in the ab initio achieve the above in ab initio we we know that how to using the sequence sequel we can get a right, department of minimum salary employee name salary minimum salary keep dense rank first order by cell over partition by department of lowest okay keep the first in the dense rank keep the last in the dense rank that's all partition by department right? within the department keep the first or keep the last to and label it as the lowest and highest right minimum salary maximum salary so this is how you know the dense rank and these these the keep you know functions works but how to achieve it in ab initio so simple everything else is remain same right we have to use the scan with roll up this is one way within a scan we will have a roll up right scan with roll up there is another component i did not have use it but scan with roll up is going to be used but if i have to do the alternate design so i can do that i can do the scanning i can do the roll up wherein i can achieve the lowest and highest depending upon the for a particular department number and then i can join using the key what key is going to be the department number and then there will be an output so scan simple scanning i can scan everything and i can achieve what i don't have to achieve anything basically in the scan i just give the reformat i can sort the data input i think i think i have to do the input basically let's say sort it right and then to replicate it and uh, the second flow i can see that from the replicate second flow can go to the roll up from the replicate there will be two flow right replicate there will be two flows let's say first flow is going to be the simple second flow is going to be going to the roll up and after rolling up but i can join it right i can join it with the department name as key keyword department it let's say 
and then there will be an output. I can assign that for every this one, every department level, I can assign the same number, right? For every department, I can assign the same number of eyes, which I have got in the roll, roll up. So input sort, next let's say, and then there will be replicate, and replicate will have two flows. First flow similar, second flow, first flow same, right? And the second flow replicate. This replicate is over here basically. Okay. And this is give the two flows. Then there is a roll up. Roll up of salary department one. Key is department. And sum is salary highest and lowest I can achieve, right? that I have to do. And then there will be an output. So looks like it is in a complex, but with respect to have an issue, it is in a nothing. I mean, it's an easy, basically, the case of roll up and sort and the join, right? Scan with roll up is also useful in this kind of scenario. So, so with that, uh, thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, we are going to see many more use cases of this kind. Thank you so much.